hello everyone welcome to my channel it is amy the goddess here we're gonna be seeing where is this connection going this is a love reading so you can be asking about a actual lover that you are dating and in a serious relationship with you can be asking about a situationship that you are in uh, an f buddy a one night stand maybe you can turn into more you know um a friends with benefits anything like that where is this connection going okay can you also ask about a crush yes however just keep in mind this is a general collective reading so some of it may resonate little pieces of it may not okay if you want to book a personal reading with me information and book will be down in the description box i'm also going to link my link tree in the comment sections with the timestamp so that you can follow me on other platforms or social media as well I do write back when I can, okay? So, if you're new to pick a card readings, pick a pile readings, so you're going to choose which pile or piles you are most drawn to. Go down in the comment section, click that pile or piles. You can think of different people and click different piles. This is also a timeless reading, so whenever you see it, it's for you. Pile number one is this pile right here. Pile number two is the heart jar. And pile number three is the science looking jar. It reminds me of a scientist jar. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and see where is this connection going? We're going to start with pile one. So let's move these over. Pile one, where is this connection that you are in or dealing with? Where is it going? Also, sorry if you hear noise. It's Thanksgiving week, so... My daughter's out of school. She's a bit loud. So just excuse that. Oh. 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 Oh my gosh, you guys. This is seeming very intense. Why? Either this is someone you co-parent with and you're having a lot of issues, or this person has a child or you have a child and there's like a person getting in the way of this connection. It seems very intense. Okay. It seems like um, <clears throat> this person and you are both having a lot of anxiety in this connection. So does it seem like someone's trying to get in the, in the way of this connection? Most definitely. Either your baby father, baby mama, or their baby father or baby mama is trying to get in the way of this connection. It could also be an ex that's trying to get in the way of this connection. Um, and even if this is your baby mama or your baby daddy you're asking about, it's a different ex that's trying to get in the way of you guys getting back together or getting to be serious. Like they're trying to break you up. That's what I'm feeling from this. I am going to pull more cards. So let's see where this connection is going. gonna be honest it does seem like a lot of blackmail here it seems like a very sexual connection between you and this person a lot of intensity however um very lustful connection very um it's giving me soul tie vibes like you have a soul tie with this person um but pretty much, it kind of looks like the ex is throwing their body. Look, I don't know if I could show you the full picture. Your person's ex or your ex is literally trying to throw their body at whoever to get in the way of the connection. So this person's ex or baby mama or whatever could be trying to use their body 
to tempt your person. That's or that's what they're planning to do next in this connection, but they're already basically planning this. Let's pull some cards. We have air sign. So you could be the air sign, your person could be the air sign, or this third party person that's trying to break y'all up could be an air sign. Okay. What else do we have here? Let's hang out. So they're going to try to hang out with you. Or this person's going to try to hang out with their person, which is your person. I'm also seeing that they could try to hang out with your person. You know how girls will hang out with the girl that's dating their ex? That's kind of what this could also be. So if they're not trying to hang out with your person, they're trying to hang out with you. To tell you stuff. To make you feel differently about your person. So it is collective. So I'm getting a lot of different messages of what it could be next. But either way, it's some drama. Pile one. You don't want no drama. No, no drama. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Uh, I am going to pull some of my oracle cards here. Pile one. Hold on. See, look, someone's either trying to rekindle with you and break you and whoever you're with up, or this person's ex or whoever is trying to rekindle with them and get you out of the picture. That's literally what's next. That's what is about to happen next in this connection. Someone trying to break you and someone else up. Okay, and it could be an air sign. Stirring up some drama. Whoever it is that's trying to break y'all up is toxic because it looks like the other person ran away to heal themselves and get out of that connection. And it kind of gives me like ho vibes because we have plenty of fish in the sea that also came up. So this gives me vibes like the toxic person had plenty of fish in the sea like they had hoes, they were in a hoe phase. And so you found somebody else and then now that they see you with someone else, they want to break you guys up or it's the other way around. Somebody was a hoe to the person you're talking to and was cheating and having all these options. And then when your person found you, they got mad and now they want to break that up. Okay. So they could even be doing stuff to like magic to break you guys up or to make it to where this person cannot get hard for you or vice versa you know switch if it needs to be switched um let's see how your person's currently feeling about you though let's 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 just see how they're currently feeling because this is what's to come this is what's in the energy of what's to come next okay so let's see your person's current feelings about you just to get more information also i have a little bit of a cold so don't mind my voice right now And also, look what we had on the bottom. It says seduction. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, third party interference and temptation. That's literally what I was telling you. They're trying to tempt your person or trying to tempt you. 
Something like that. Your person wants to be done with this person, though. We have the death card next to the three of swords in reverse. Yeah, it's like they want to forgive this person, but they don't want to be with this person anymore. This third party. Would they be sexual with them? Maybe. I don't know. But they don't want to be in a relationship with them anymore. That's for sure. How do they feel about you? This person is planning to be loyal to you, but it's because they don't want to hurt you. They know you get jealous. They know that you would probably fight whoever, or they think that you would. It literally says on the bottom, though, deception. Three is a crowd. So your person is trying to avoid a third party situation however the third party is going to make it look like there's a third party even when there's not to basically make your person come back to them or vice versa it could be the other way around where they're trying to make it look like to your person that you guys are hooking up when you're not so that you go back to them it could be that way around too Oh my gosh. That's the card of speed. So this is going to happen very quickly after this reading. Very, very quickly after this reading. For some of you, this person could live at a distance. It doesn't have to be a large distance, although it can be. How do they feel about you? They feel heartbroken because this person could be thinking that you're going to choose someone else over them. Or that's how the person's trying to make it look. So this is just like, they're feeling confused. Let's just say that. They're feeling confused. They're not sure what to think, how to feel. They feel suspicious of you. Even if they have the third party, because they could be believing what the third party is telling them. Third party is just outside influence, pretty much. Okay, so there's outside influence telling them things about you, making them second guess you. Okay. So that is what's next in this connection and basically what's kind of already happening. Some of this is already happening. So get ready for some drama, pile number one. I'm going to leave this pile here. Give me a thumbs up if it resonated. If you would like to book a personal with me, information is down in the description box. Let's move to the next pile. If you also soon, I'm going to be doing extended readings. If you guys want to see extensions of readings, you can pay like, I don't know, $10 a month or whatever and get extended readings. Like if you wanted to know more just then, that would be a good place to go for that. So I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys know when I have that ready. Working on that now. All right, let's move to pile two. Can you guys see? Yeah, you can kind of see. Pile two. I have to set my phone like in a really weird position because my camera stand does not show the other way that I need it to show. So I have like my phone stacked up on a bunch of books right now. 
Anyways, pile number two, welcome to your reading. Let's get a quick, how does this person on your mind, how do they feel about you? And then we'll see where this the connection going. This person is a bit mad at you currently, or if they're not mad at you, they have some type of grudge that they're kind of holding on you because they f they found out something about you or they think they're finding out something about you. So this person feels like you're being very cold towards them. This person feels like you act very aloof and withdrawn from them and it's making them suspicious because this person does love you. Let's see what else I'm getting. We got the lovers. So that confirms that this person loves you, but they don't trust you. Okay, so they're angry or they're holding some type of grudge here. Um, they don't trust you because they think either you're going to get even with them or they think that you're not over a situation with someone else. They just don't trust you. There's something that's making them question you. Maybe it's their own insecurities. I think it's because you guys are more withdrawn than you used to be. You could have used to be more clingy. Now you are more withdrawn. So, let's see where there's this connection going. Yeah, so this this person feels like you're playing mind games with them. Part of them likes it. Part of them really does not like it either. So you're kind of messing with this person's head. This or that's how this person's feeling. Where's this connection going? So this person could actually want to have a child with you. They could be actively trying to have a child with you. Or that's where this is going. They're going to soon want to try to have a child with you in the near future. Maybe they want to co-parent with you, make you the stepmom, stepdad, whatever. That could also be the case. Um, they may want to move in with you, get a house together, something like that. If you're already doing that, then obviously this is, they want to move to the next step, like have another child or something like that. And again, this is basically what's next. So this is not the current energy. This is 
where the connection will be going. This is how they will be feeling in the future. It looks like there's a lot of unnecessary drama that's going to come up in this connection, though. So there will be a lot of relationship issues. Uh, let's see why. I know it's over unnecessary things, but let's see a little more. It looks like because they feel like you're going to be too needy. Or could be the other way around where this person becomes too needy. And so it causes relationship issues because whoever is being too needy too clingy Looks like somebody here has PTSD and like this connection is triggering some type of PTSD. So this relationship could go very quickly into getting serious and then having a lot of issues and it tumbling down just as quick as it starts, it's going to end. Let's just say that. <laughs> That's what it seems like. I also feel like there's like people that aren't gonna like you guys together that's gonna be causing unnecessary issues could be exes i feel like mostly it's family members are not gonna want to see you guys together family members but also there is a horse in the background which makes you think of speed like you guys just went too quickly without really knowing each other you thought you knew each other but you truly did not and that's what's going to happen is connection. It's going to build up really fast. There's going to be a lot of passion and intensity. And then you're going to start to see each other's true colors and fight. And then, boom, the connection could end. Pile number two. Even though this person loves you. Um, someone could choose to end it. However, I don't think it's a permanent breakup. I think this is temporary until you guys get certain things in order. It's almost like you didn't have things in order. I'm also getting like cold feet. Somebody is going to get cold feet and like um, want to take a break from the connection because they're scared of how quickly things are moving. Let's pull some other cards here. Where's this connection going? wanted dead or alive Ooh, so yeah it could be some domestic violence that could happen knock on wood exes are wanting you back so they could feel like they have like that could be who's trying to get in the way of this connection X is wanting you back X is wanting them back it says here other woman so this could be an extension of pile number two i mean pile number one so if you felt drawn to pile number one make sure you go watch that hallucinate so someone's trying to make other people think that they're crazy gaslighting could be also in-laws the law could get involved oh my gosh a lot could be going on in this connection nobody want to see us together buddy no matter no because I got you. That song's coming through. So a temporary break, I think, is going to happen. Because of other people getting in the way. And also someone getting cold feet. Um, Somebody could only be needy and clingy because of the drama that's going on. You know, like how, okay, your ex just hit you up. Now, now that I know your ex just hit you up, I want to be with you all the time. Because I don't trust and that could actually push whoever away. So, that's where this connection's going. It kind of seems like an extension of pile one.
all right so let's move on to the next pile pile number three let's get a quick how does this person feel about you and then we will see where is the connection going Power number three, this person has the biggest crush on you. Power number three, this person really likes you. They're very attracted to you currently, um, and they want to woo you. They want to show off their masculine energy by buying you stuff, taking care of you, you know, being there when you need them type of vibe. This person wants to take it slow or be patient with you. And I feel like that's because they recently went through a heartbreak. So they could have just got out of a relationship or they're still healing from a past relationship or an ex or something like that. Like they're not completely over that situation yet. So they want to take it slow. This is their current feelings. Okay. They're not trying to rush. Now let's see where is this connection going. This could possibly become like a situation where you're helping this person feel safe again. And it's making this person, you know, heal in a way and feel a stronger connection to you. However, I kind of feel as though this is overwhelming for you. This person does want to be sexual with you, but I feel like. Some of you aren't really wanting to be super sexual in this connection. This person's going to be giving you money, giving you gifts, things like that to try to woo you um, and win you over. Let's see what else. You and this person could get into a small fight or argument. Why? Because I feel like you healed them, right? Or like you're healing them. And then you could actually end up breaking them as well. Why are you going to end up breaking them? Because another option is going to come in for you. And you may not know who to choose. Or you're going to quite literally choose the other option. And break this person's heart. Three of wands. I mean three of swords. Sorry just came out could this be the other way around possibly but for most of you i feel like it's the option i just mentioned which is you're going to be the one breaking their heart wrong time it just seems like it's wrong timing for you guys to be together it's not the right time for you guys to be together right person wrong time because you still haven't learned lessons you guys could like have feelings for them and then also now you don't have feelings for them anymore okay now they came back now you do again now you don't it could be like very much so like that let's see what else outlaw it's giving me like it's giving me like feelings of like you getting spoiled by this person but like 
you liking this person and then you not liking this person and then you also have other options that come in <sighs> i feel like this person likes you more than you like them that's kind of what i'm feeling in this connection okay so this is going to lead to you breaking their heart. So you can actually deceive yourself. Some of you could have a... Brup, brap, brup, brap, read the word. Some of you could have that. With an old friend. That's only for some of you, obviously. Um... Why won't you love? let me love you? So you guys may not let this person love you, but I think it's because you don't feel the same amount of passion that they feel for you, or at least in the near future, right? The passion could die down and you won't feel strongly towards them. So you're going to break this person's heart, most likely. Of course, this could change. But the other person that comes in, you know, you might really like that person. You, they might really like you. And it could work out. It says third wheel. So yeah, you could put two people in a third party situation. For a little bit until you decide who you want. But whoever you end up choosing. In the end, I feel like it's going to make you very happy. So that was confusing. All these piles were weird today. What do we have going on collective? It is Mercury fucking retrograde soon. So maybe that's why. Um... But yeah, um, I hope this really helped everyone. If you want to book a personal with me, information to book is in the description box. You can also hit my link tree. It'll bring you to my other platforms or social media. And I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye-bye. Make sure you like and subscribe.